Praise the Lord. Greetings of peace and joy of the Lord to all of you. I am Father Bobby. Most of you who are in these groups might know me, but for some of you I might be new. But it's all right. Thanks be to God for uniting all of us for a beautiful purpose. We are here to start a beautiful spiritual divine journey for one year. We all know that we are living in a very difficult time. what future is holding for us none of us know but one thing we know things are not going to be easy hallelujah but we are going to do a beautiful thing with the lord as the word of god says in in the book of exodus the lord said to moses my presence will go before you and i will give you rest hallelujah Also Psalm 89 verse 15 says blessed are those people who know the festal shout who walk o lord in the light of thy countenance hallelujah who walk in the light of the countenance of the lord see one of the bible commentaries i was reading and for this particular text they gave this meaning 89 15 of psalm if we give god our ears and hear the joyful sound that comes from his mouth he will show us his face and make us glad hallelujah today you might have you know the first day of our spiritual journey of reading the bible uh, fully in one year hallelujah today what we were supposed to read read was two chapters from genesis and one chapter of job book of job and one chapter from the new testament that is matthew chapter 1 i hope that all of you might have read it if not please make sure that you read before you sleep hallelujah and you know in the first chapter of genesis you might have listened to the first day when god created he said let there be light and there was light that was the first day hallelujah but strangely on fourth day he is creating what he is creating sun and moon so light was already there on first day and fourth day he has created sun and moon and all the other other stars hallelujah so what is that light on the first day when he said let there be light there was light that is the light of his word all those who are going to be listening to the word of god all those who are reading the word of god they will be guided by the light of the face of god hallelujah so i welcome each one of you to read the word of god in a, on a on a regular basis and so in the name of jesus i welcome each and every one of you hallelujah also want to thank you for cooperating to this inspiration uh that is extended to you by the invitation that has reached to you through us to read this uh, to read the word of god and you are inspired and you you were ready to cooperate and so we have a, we never we never imagined that so many people would join so one after another we had to create group we thought one group initially but now there are many groups more than 1700 800 people already have joined with us from different parts of the world from all the continents hallelujah so together we are making this journey and lord is with us i father bobby will be coming regularly to visit you with word of god and this is the first day as we are beginning and in the coming days i will be explaining to you certain word of god's also say hallelujah it's a beautiful day to start with because june 1st this is mother mary's feast mother mary mother of the church and she will accompany us wherever the word of god is there and mother is always there say hallelujah also this month is dedicated to the sacred heart of jesus and one of the most beautiful desire of the heart of jesus is that we should listen to his word if anyone loves me they will know my word jesus said hallelujah there are few things that you should keep in mind as we are going ahead and uh, most important thing is that it's a commitment it's not a contribution that sometimes you read and sometimes you skip no if you are here you are supposed to 
make a commitment that you are going to do it daily hallelujah it's like you know you are going to take a, like an you know, antibiotic course like you know you cannot skip in between once you start you need to complete it that's the first thing second thing we are not simply going on reading and so on you keep some intentions within one year by the merit of the word of god that you are reading uh, your intentions will be fulfilled so keep some intentions written at least nine of the some spiritual intentions like you need to come out of some some addictions that you have maybe anger or maybe some addiction to something else sloth or whatever it be keep those intentions written also for some people who are really in need of some blessings maybe your dear ones may be addicted to something like that or your children struggling please keep these intentions written the merit of the word of god that you are reading that will work wonders and i can promise you in the name of jesus by the next year's pentecost most of you will tell this what one of the best decisions i had taken in my life was this to join this group of reading the bible you would say amen hallelujah and another thing is that early morning is the most beautiful time to read the bible you know it won't take more than half an hour every day no it we won't burden you like you know god doesn't want to burden you so it won't take more than more than half an hour so morning time is the best time but if you couldn't do it it's okay any time you read but make sure before you sleep you read and go to sleep say hallelujah also have your bible with you because we are not going to post the whole word of god we just to tell you what is to be read so have your bible and highlight it by underlining certain word of god that you like the most also still better would be to keep one book with you in which you can uh, write notes and keep uh, uh, some word of god written that will bring more anointing i will explain in the coming days importance of those things say hallelujah and also the last thing you know instead of uh, reading in mind the best thing is to pronounce it at least in a voice audible to the person next to you like you know pronounce the word of god believe in your heart and confess it with your lips it will have lot of deliverance and the importance of pronouncing the word of god also i will be explain to you in the coming days so for today we are here and we are beginning and the lord is with us he is very happy that whole spirit of god would be really happy that we are taking such a decision on the day of pentecost we had taken the decision and in the mighty name of jesus christ i bless you in the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen praise the lord keep reading the bible